Hello and welcome back to Thomas's Mustache. Today we are going to be talking about something a little bit different, but nevertheless you might find it interesting. Today we have something that I've always wanted, but just never got around to buying. Because I suppose it just wasn't in the budget. But thanks to uh, Santa Claus, I was able to finally receive it. Now an interesting story of course is that uh, I only just got my Christmas gift uh, recently. <laughs> the, it took two months, mainly because the, the Royal Mail I believe was having a strike of some form. So uh, Christmas came late. Christmas came early, uh, for next year at least, so I don't have to wait as long for the next Christmas uh, gift. <laughs> but of course I respect uh, the right to, to have a strike, um, so I don't mind at all. I knew it was coming, just had to wait a little longer. But, you know, sometimes waiting makes things better. Uh, it's non-perishable, which is good, so no problem there. Today we are going to be talking about Captain Fawcett's Lip Balm. So, Captain Fawcett's Lip Balm. This particular one is in the Rosemary, Peppermint, and Lemon scent. So, Fawcett's Physician. Uh, this is the, the branch, I suppose you could say, that deals with more of these uh, care products, like Lip Balm. I believe there was a menthol mustache wax and perhaps hand sanitizer or something of the sort. Uh, I'd have to do with my double checking. But when I went to do some research on this product, I couldn't actually find it on the website. I searched in lip balm. I couldn't find it under the Fawcett's Physician section. So perhaps it was a little glitch, but I've checked probably a hundred times before now and I've seen it every time. So. I can't tell you details about this right now, other than my own personal opinion. And I must uh, apologize if you hear any background noises. Uh, people are outside talking, people are upstairs moving things, people are doing a lot of activity today. So it's going to be loud. I'm trying to start quite early actually, <laughs> early in the morning, but I, I appear to not be early enough it seems. So you're going to hear all sorts of noises today. So what can I tell you about this particular thing? Uh, it's lip balm, but it's lip balm in a tin, which is what I've always wanted, is lip balm in a tin. And you might say, sounds unique, which it is, because we're so used to having lip balm in a, uh, what is it, a tube, which I will show you. So here we have lip balm in a tube. Uh, this generally a tube is going to have what says 4.5 grams. Uh, Captain Fawcett's lip balm here is 10 milliliters, which I believe they go about a milliliter is a gram roughly for certain things. I'll actually weigh it right now. So actually this brand new would be about 15 grams. I just weighed it. I've used it a little bit, so um, it's 14.5 right now, but I've used it a few times, so let's just round it up to 15. But I'm not an authority on the subject, so I'd say 15 personally. So 15 grams against 4.5 grams, you're getting about three times as much here. Uh, we're not factoring in the weight of the tin versus the weight of the tube uh, plastic. That's just complicated. But three times as much here, it fits very well wherever you want to put it, uh, shirt pocket or what have you. Uh, but in a tin instead of in a tube. Of course in a tube, you take it off, you boop, 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 and then you're done. Uh, no issue with your hands. In a tin it's different. You apply it with your finger. So I've got you in nice and close here show you what it's like. Unscrew just like a mustache wax and you can see in there. 
it uh, looks like a mustache wax. But similar, I think it's hard, reasonably hard, compared to a mustache wax. A wax will come out quite easy. So with your finger, but instead of with your fingernail, what I like to do at least is with the fingertip. I just pull it out. That's even too much. Like so. So your finger has some, a little bit of the, the substance on the tip. You want to see a little bit of that whiteness which just shows that there's a, a, enough buildup. And then you just... There you go. Now you might say, oh, is that hygienic? is that good to do? We're living in the COVID era, right? So we're afraid to touch our lips with our fingers. Or some people are at least. <laughs> I'm not pointing any fingers here, right? But one thing is that, of course, it's uh, about technique. For me, at least in my mind, technique solves a sanitary issue. Uh, I, I take my finger, I rub the the outer part of the lip skin, the dry part that doesn't get moisturized by your saliva. So by doing the outer rim of your lips and then do as such, uh, rub your lips together, uh, you're spreading it around, you're moisturizing those lips. Uh, generally we don't have a problem with the, the part of our lips that touch the inner parts of our mouth. It's generally the outer parts of the lip. Ah, terribly sorry about the noise. <laughs> but as I was saying, uh, I don't see a, a hygiene issue with using this with your finger. Of course, um, I prefer to have clean fingers when I am applying it. But um, again, it's just a different way. And I think it's good. I prefer it, right? It's feels more natural, feels more um, traditional. So that's one thing I like about it. Uh, talking about it, uh, it's got that peppermint effect on your lips. It has a cooling effect, really refreshing. Um, you can, I, I'd say the peppermint is probably the strongest scent here, the strongest flavor. Rosemary and lemon add to that uh, background strengthening effect of fragrance. So of course that's one thing that I quite like about it, is that it, it has that mentholy effect, it has that cooling effect, but also it has a nice well-rounded uh, herby, but also it has that lemony citrus. I'm not getting the citrus too much, but I'm not eating it. So perhaps that is one reason why I don't get that lemony effect as much. And I'm not smelling it too much either because it's pretty far down. But as far as lip balms go, this is the one for me. Now I'll do some close-up pictures for you, of course, but That'll be all for my impression. And there will be no full review or even first impression. I've been using this since the day I opened uh, the package. But just thought I would talk about it. So until next time, toodaloo.